everybody. Um, this is going to be my top 10 favorite things <laughs> about um, being in a wheelchair. So, number 10, I don't fall as often. Before I was in a wheelchair, I used to fall all the time. I fell um, and broke my hip as well as left, gave myself plenty of bruises, broke plenty of things around the house, all that stuff. So, now I don't fall as often. Now, pretty much I only fall during transfers, like getting out of the chair into the bed or onto the toilet or back into the chair from something. That's pretty much the only time I fall now. Um, or if I'm in a place where I can't be in the wheelchair, like my closet, um, then I can fall. Um, number nine, it's faster than walking. Um, it's not a whole lot faster than walking, but it is slightly faster than walking. My kids could still outrun me if they run, but if they are just walking, then yeah, I smoke them bad. They have to like basically speed walk to keep up with me. So that's nice. Um, number eight, I never have to worry about finding a seat. This comes in really handy at like, I don't know, big events like, oh, I don't go to them, but say I went to a football game or something. I don't have to worry about if the house is packed and I have to find a seat or like in the movie theater or whatever, you know, um, I can just sit in my chair. Number seven, I can move heavy things. The Probably the heaviest thing I've ever moved with my wheelchair. Um, I move heavy stuff tons, but I moved the tread climber across the garage, which was, that probably weighs about three or 400 pounds. Um, I move, I don't know, just heavy stuff all the time. I move these couches, like pieces, a piece of cake. This one is a little bit harder because it's like, a really long couch but still I can move heavy stuff easy easy and I'm just like I don't know 90 pounds or whatever it would be impossible if I didn't have a wheelchair so hey um number six I can cut through traffic this comes in very handy occasionally um like especially if we're waiting for a train or whatever because then all the cars are just like waiting for a train and I can move on right up there till the end of the line um and you know be right in front um although i don't usually do that or recommend other people doing it because once the train moves you either have to be able to move out of the way really fast or you're gonna probably get run over so um i just usually i still go way up to the front of the line and sometimes i'll like swerving between the cars while they're all waiting for the train and talk to people and stuff. Um, so that's fun. It's fun being able to cut through traffic. Okay, um, number five, going long, long distances without getting tired. I can go like for miles and miles and not even break a sweat. It's awesome. Um, yeah, I think the farthest I've ever gone is probably like three or four miles before charging up a little um but hey that's a long way to go without getting tired uh, um number five no number four storage areas okay this is why i am in the living room and parked over here because i want to show you my storage area didn't do you gotta move um okay like like i have <laughs> no. i have a cup holder here i have Oh, this bag right here that um, I got at Hobby Lobby, but it's it's just like a little thing to carry crafts or whatever, but it has all these pockets. So I have a pocket for my business cards, a pocket for other people's business cards, pocket for a pen and pencil, and um, my broken Christmas lights. That's another story you'll have to get to. I got my bingo marker here. Um, I have other storage. Like, a lot of times I'll put a bag, I'll just hang a, you know, a backpack or some other type of bag over the headrest in the back. Um, I have my handy duct tape right here, um, and some other things that come in handy too that we'll talk about in a couple more points. But yeah, there's storage all over this thing. And it's awesome. Oh yeah, like here, Ginger, get up. Okay, underneath my seat cushion. Okay, so this is my seat.
seat. Yeah, that's my seat too. Um, this is my seat cushion. Underneath it, I have a big, huge Ziploc bag for if I'm out around town and it starts raining, I can pull it out and put it over the control panel. I also have a um, one of the fabric grocery bags that I can use, you know, to to take stuff. Um, trying to think what else I have that's just plain storage around here. I guess not a whole lot. Let me talk about that in the next one. Okay, um, yeah, low capacity. This is the other thing that kind of goes in hand with storage, but um, I can go to a grocery store and get like a cart load. I really seriously, if if someone went to the grocery store and bought me a cart full of groceries, I can pretty much guarantee that I would be able to bring all of them back to my house with just my wheelchair. And some of the ways that I do that, I have on the arms of my chair, you can read my signs if you want. Um, okay, so I tape these signs to my wheelchair, but then I can pull the signs off and slide. Sorry, they're all falling apart because it started to rain. Anyway, um, I can slide grocery bags on here. I can usually fit like maybe about four, five bags, depending on what is in the fabric, just by putting their handles um, over the arm of my wheelchair. On this arm, I can do the same thing. Since I have this bag taped to it, it doesn't have quite as much room, but I can still fit probably about two or three bags on this arm. Um, I also am careful and use this arm mostly for the lighter weight stuff because it's got the control panel and stuff here. Um, so I just, I'm just a little bit more careful with that one. Um, I also have on the back of my wheelchair, oh yeah, there's that thing. Underneath here, you see those hooks? I got this just at the dollar store. Um, it's an over-the-door coat rack um, that has two hooks that I can hang a bunch of groceries from. Um, the guy at Lowe's, I can't remember his name, but it wasn't it wasn't Tyler. It was a different one. Um, that he helped me to use these big, huge zip ties, and then this kind of clip that I can clip. Um, stuff too. Typically, I put my charger to it. If I'm going a long distance, then I can have my charger right there with me. Um, and then, you know, I can also, oh, on the back, on the headrest, I often put groceries and or my kids' backpacks up here, and there's this little ledge right here that I can push the handle down and it will um, hold the groceries in place. Or I can take this whole cart off and put bag handles over here and then put the headrest back on to secure them in place. So there is tons of storage, even more so if I bring a couple of bags or a backpack or whatever. Usually if I bring the um, backpack my sister gave me that has my laptop, then, um, you know, I can put stuff all over that too. Um, so that is my number, what was it? Three, best thing I like about having a wheelchair. Okay, now the last two, I'm gonna get up close and personal for because they're kind of up close and personal things. Okay, um, number two is my kids can sit on my lap. I absolutely love the fact that I can pick my daughter up from school and she can just sit on my lap and ride home with me and we can listen to music and dance and talk and um, if I was driving a car or whatever, I would still be able to pick my kids up from school, but um, I would not be able to have near the amount of quality conversation and interaction that I can have with my kids when they're sitting right there on my lap. I get to hold them 
my son used to sit on there. He's way too big now. Um, but he still, he'll ride his bike and we can still talk. Um, and my daughter, my 17 year old now, she used to stand on the back of my wheelchair on the post right above these, um, rear wheels. And, um, so I would give her rides around that way too, but it is absolutely wonderful being able to have my kids so close, um, and give them rides and half the time half their friends too. I think the most kids I ever had sitting on me was five. Um, my daughter and four of her friends one time all loaded up on me on the wheelchair and that was interesting <laughs> and it didn't last too long, but um, it lasted a couple blocks. Um, my number one thing about being in a wheelchair is the fact that everyone stares at me. Um, when that first starts happening, when I first accepted the fact that I was going to need a chair and um, started going around town, it used to bother me um, when I first had my kids with me and they would they would ask me, you know, my daughter still sometimes asks, like, why does everyone stare at you? But um, when you are trying to change the world and trying to start a movement and trying to just make people smile by putting goofy signs or inspirational signs or whatever on your wheelchair um, or if some company one day recognizes the benefits of having ad space that can travel into stores without um, needing to give the store a certain percentage or whatever my ad space is seriously worth a lot of money someday somebody will pick up on that but in the meantime I'm gonna use it for my own purposes and for my own causes and that's it that's my number one favorite thing thank you